Grimlock seen this part ten times already. Me say fast forward to good part. Clarification requested. Please define good part. Grimlock means he wants to see the part where Metroplex scraps Trypticon. Yes, where he pulverizes him and finishes him off forever. Unable to fulfill request. That never happened. Just a moment, Teletran 2. Metroplex hurled Trypticon into the ocean, and Trypticon never surfaced. Affirmative. Metroplex did hurl Trypticon into ocean. However, your analysis is incorrect. Metroplex did not finish Trypticon off forever. Now hear this, Autobots. Sea Spray and me are on a little salvage mission, hunting up Trypticon's remains. Sea Spray? Jumping swordfish! Trypticon must be the biggest dinosaur in creation! Look at the size of those footprints! Got news for you, Broadside. No Trypticon remains down there. But that don't make sense, matey. That's the exact spot where Trypticon went down and Metroplex busted his chops. Trypticon sank, but he sure didn't kick the bucket. He took a hike in strength. Trypticon took an underwater hike like you wouldn't believe. He left a trail going through the starboard bow, we have the African nation of Carbamia, a desert kingdom ruled by the controversial military commander, Abdul Fakadi. Isn't it dangerous to cruise near here? Yeah, sometimes innocent ships get attacked. There's no danger, I assure you. As long as we stay beyond the three-mile limit, no one will harm us. you wearing yourself out, Tripty Babes. I'm big hero now. Attack enemy boat. Yeah? You're wasting all your energy shooting at vacation cruise ships. No waste. Destroy dangerous enemy. Too far. It's just like I told you, Lizard Brain. You're still convalescing. You haven't gotten over that bashing you took from Metroplex. <laughs> Should have stayed longer on Dinobot Island. Don't like Carbomia. Hey, you loony or something. The climate of Carbomia is much better for your health. And the oil here makes the best energon in the galaxy. Those two Decepticons have outlived their usefulness to me. I can no longer tolerate them in Carbomia. With all due respect, Your Excellency, Trypticon and Octane have been very useful. They've kept the fanatics and imperialists away from our coastline, Your Worthiness. Yes, but at what price? Do you realize how much of our oil they're stealing to make their... their... whatever you call that beverage they drink? Energon, your eminence. Yes, Energon. One thousand barrels of oil makes one tiny cube of Energon. And that big Decepticon, that, that dinosaur named Trypticon, he drinks 50 Energon cubes an hour. John can make me the strongest Decepticon in the galaxy. And I guarantee you'll be as good as new in six months. Six months? You promised just one more week. As Supreme Military Commander, King of Kings, and President for Life of the Socialist Democratic Federated Republic of Carbonia, I order you Decepticons out of my country. 
victory by sunset tomorrow. Out? You, you're kicking us out? Us? You have until sunset tomorrow, or I will call in the Autobots and have you executed in the town square. Hold on there, Supreme Whatever. Who's gonna guard your coastline if you don't have us? I will install radar-guided rocket defenses. Trypticon and me want to turn your country into a paradise. It already is a paradise. Just a minute, just a minute. I mean a rich paradise. Uh, do you like gold? Gold? Yes, this is something that interests Abdul Fakadi. But it would take all the gold of the United States to persuade me to let you stay here another day. Hmm. You sure ain't easy to please, Your Excellency. Better reduce tripping. I don't want you to go snapping any of your interior muscle cables. and hightail it. <laughs> it's like taking candy from a baby. I thought you said we were near Fort Knox, Private Dixon. We, we were. I, I mean, we are. I, I mean, it used to be here. Tripticon have not done such a bad job. I have made my decision. You may remain in Carbomia, but only until the next crescent moon. And Tripticon will be on strict rations of 1,000 barrels of oil a day. 1,000 a day? He'll starve! We'll both starve! If you don't like my offer, I'll call in the Autobots. A most unfortunate occurrence. Pitiful. Outrageous. Whoever it was just made off with Fort Knox like a thief in the night. Yum. Energon. <laughs> Smell different. Strange. Perhaps it was left here to trick us. Maybe it's some sort of corrosive or poison. <laughs> Since dinosaur transform static all around here. Wonder if one of Dinobots do this crime. That's highly improbable, Grimlock. The Dinobots are primitive, but they are Autobots. We can't rule anything out, Perceptor. We'll have to interrogate all the Dinobots. <laughs> We drink enough of this, Energon. Soon we'll take over as leaders of the Decepticons, partners forever. But in the meantime, we gotta keep his worthiness, the Imperial Master of Slaves, happy so he doesn't let the Autobots mess up our plan. Strong partners! I'll keep him more happy. His Excellency wants a new palace! So we'll get him a new palace. His Excellency like Tryptocon. If that dim-witted dinosaur keeps bringing me monuments from all over the world, we will have a thriving tourist trade. Follow me, Decepticons! Soon we will bring Trypticon back to the fold and punish that renegade Octane! <laughs> ah! Silver 
Megatron. You're a traitor, Octane! You had no permission to take Trypticon away from Dinobot Island! I needed Trypticon for my plans of conquering the Earth! Now, because of you, he may never recover! But you got it all wrong, Galvatron! Me and Trypticon, we've discovered a fantastic new type of Energon! It's helping Trypticon get all better real quick! Try some! You'll love it! Drink! Drink and crush! That's good! <laughs> Makes me stronger! <laughs> We're gathered here, as you know, to figure out if any of you Dinobots was involved in stealing Fort Knox and the Taj Mahal. Grimlock says he sniffed lots of dinosaur transformed static at Fort Knox. Why am I under investigation? I'm not a Dinobot. You got dinosaur electrons in your circuit, Skylinks. Nevertheless, I am definitely not a Dinobot. I refuse to participate in this kangaroo court. Please, stop this childish bickering. All the Autobots are definitely innocent. The Energon we found is a Decepticon formula. It's made out of oil from Africa, from Carbomia. Carbomia? I think that's where Trypticon has been hiding. He must be the dinosaur behind all this. Perceptor's probably right. Trypticon's the only Decepticon big enough to have carried off all those buildings. Now hear this. Approaching Carbonia and no signs of Trypticon. Rough seas and fog ahead. Wow. Have fun pirated buildings, mates. We'll dispatch aerial hunts to... Of that Decepticon. The King of Kings and President for Life of Carbonia will not tolerate this. No one invited you here. I want you Decepticons out. Make him see reason, Octane. You have such a way with words. Attention, broadside. I'm picking up the sound of Decepticons inside the Taj Mahal. We'd like you to go on running your country, Your Excellency. We'll even fetch you the Kremlin from Moscow. It can be your new political center, a showpiece for your capital. But we will take control of your oil. You are trying to make me a hostage in my own country. Do not force me to call in the Autobots. <laughs> little flesh creature. Autobots! Wonderful! Decepticons, commence hunting season! <laughs> That arrived. Oh, he got caught in a blizzard in Siberia, but he's nearing Moscow now. It's Trypticon! Without Metroplex, we can't stop him. Hold it right there, Trypticon! It says who? Says Metroplex! Soviet Politburo, who accuses the Autobots of this imperialist plot to steal the Kremlin. The army has orders to expel all Autobots from the Soviet Union. But I 
tell you this is all a big misunderstanding. It was the Decepticons who caused the trouble. And since Metroplex was caught red-handed stealing the Kremlin in Moscow, the government of India accuses the Autobots of being behind the theft of the Taj Mahal. Me Grimlock say this grim. Whole Earth thinks Autobots are building snatchers. Attention, Metroplex and Autobots. We are having an international crisis in Carbonia. I urgently request that you invade my country to expel all of the fanatic Decepticons. As the Commander-in-Chief, King of Kings and President... <laughs> So you think you can stop me with bullets? Thanks to the energon we made from your oil, I'm stronger than ever! In here, you will make no trouble. From now on, Decepticons will make all the super energon we need, and then we'll destroy the Autobots forever! Rodimus Prime. For that, I would even allow you Autobots to stay here and join my army. No thanks. Keep your offers and just give us back the gold. Ah, yes. The gold. I suppose it does have to go back, does it? Indeed it does. And I need your word that you'll never cooperate with the Decepticons again. Oh, you have my word of honor, Rodimus. In fact, I swear to you on the grave of my mother's camel and my uncle's goat and even my sister's donkeys. And did I say my brother's sheep and my nephew's roosters? Such fine roosters you never did see. The Decepticons are a malevolent race of robot warriors. Brutal and merciless, the Decepticons are driven by a single, undeviating goal. Total domination of the universe. In the war that raged between the Decepticons and Autobots for millions of years, their home planet of Cybertron was drained of its once rich sources of energy. In hopes of finding new reserves for making Energon their basic fuel, the Decepticons followed the Autobots to Earth. Huh? What is it? Laser beak. Prepare for flight. Operation Destruction. It's firing! Under the leadership of the ruthless Megatron, they continued their efforts to destroy the remaining Autobot forces. They attacked throughout the Earth and in space using their underwater Decepticon headquarters as their staging base and bunker. But by the year 2000, the Decepticons had proven to be the losers of the last great war. In an attempt to bolster the Decepticon's strength, the evil planet-gobbling world Unicron reformed Megatron into a new robot named Galvatron to lead the Decepticons in a new era. Now, in 2006, the Decepticons have retreated to a burned-out hulk of a planet called Char, a world of ash and ruin. 
Galvatron and his Decepticon lieutenants, the sleek and awesome Cyclonus, and the mighty Scourge, the master of the dreaded sweeps, strike fear throughout the universe. Their ultimate goal, to reconquer Cybertron and destroy the Autobots.